I did something I shouldn't have and it's caused some pretty significant problems. Hello everybody, welcome back to City Skylines with me, Gwent Gamer. Today we are going to be looking at mass transit and we're going to be looking at that for a particular reason. I've decided to turn off vehicle despawning and although it does look lovely at the moment, looks like there's no traffic whatsoever, that's because I spent about three hours <laughs> fixing this half of the city. So if I bring up this uh, this grid here. Where's it to? This one. And I click on traffic. I'm at 40%, but you know, up here looks like there's there's very little. I mean, this bit by here is red, but actually it's still moving. This bit by here, a little bit red, but still moving. You know, no major holdups or queues. But you may notice most of my industrial zone is gone. <laughs> so that was casualty number one. And uh, down this way, if we just follow the highway, <laughs> we may start to come across a lot more traffic and this traffic goes all the way off the map <laughs> it's uh it's intense basically all of the traffic that's coming towards my city is uh looking pretty horrible i've got this industri industrial area here which is causing me some major problems which we're gonna have to tackle this episode so we're gonna be using mass transit to help us with this and we're just gonna be using a little bit of elbow grease to to help us out with the rest of it oh we're going through a death wave a death wave a, a, a crime wave a fire wave everything oh gosh look at this no <laughs> my city is turning to ruins okay I think the only way that we are going to remedy this is with mass transit. And so far I've used zero transit, right? So it's completely understandable. Let's start off with some bus lines. So uh, if we get our bus depot, does it matter which one we have? We've got a bus station here. That looks pretty cool. Where are we going to put our bus station? Um, let's see. We're probably going to want it somewhere. I feel like somewhere fairly central, but not somewhere that's going to ruin our infrastructure too much. Uh, let's see. I'm going to want it actually in one of the more built up areas. I've just thought like um, this is quite a main part of town. So why don't I put it like right here? Uh, let's go. Let's just go right there. OK, so there's our bus station. It's in. It's right here next to our commercial industries, our commercial zones, right? Yep, our commercial and city zones, um, office zones, I mean. So if we've got the bus station there, what I'm also going to set up is a monorail. Do I want a monorail or a metro? Maybe a metro? Hmm, let's have a look, see what we've got anyway. So we've got elevated metro stations. What are these ones? Oh, we've got these hubs as well, haven't we? So what's this? Hang on. So that's a multi-level metro hub. This is a multi-platform end station. Okay. Harbour Ferry, Harbour Bus, Harbour Bus Monorail, Ferry Bus Exchange. I would like, like, maybe bus, bus and monorail. Oh, there we go. Yeah, it's for this. Metro Monorail Train. That would be cool as well. No, let's just do bus and monorail. So I'm going to delete this. Yeah. Bus and monorail. I'm going to put this in. I've got to put it on a road. Oh, okay. What road could I put this on then? I should have thought about this. <laughs> I have no idea where I can put this road. I'm going to put it here by the university. Yeah, let's just put it right in there. And then we're going to get our two lane roads again. And I think we had the ones with the trees. And we're just going to add that back in, connecting up over there. All right, so here is our train station slash monorail hub, right? Now, we need some connection path. We need people to be able to get here easily. From the built-up areas so we're going to want some walking paths and some bike lanes so this is that's a bike path this is just a pavement i think that's just for walking and not for biking i'm not sure but regardless we'll do something like this and uh, then if we can can we do this without road lines let's do let's get rid of the road lines we'll do this there we go we want them to have really good access to this area so Again, we'll do that and we'll do the same this side. And what I'll do is I'll come through there. Yeah, that's all okay. So that seems like it should work. So there's a monorail station there and there's a bus hub. Right. Now, where do we want the monorail going? That's the next question to ask ourselves. We're going to want, so if we click on this and go to, which one's the monorail? Is it this one? No. Uh, which one's monorail? This one? There we go. OK, so how do we do this? Monorail tracks, monorail station. 
Oh, that's one wheel station with road. And this one is just one off the side of a road. Hmm. Okay, I think I'll probably go to the side of roads going forward because it makes life easier for me, ultimately. So where am I going to want stops, right? I, I'll want to stop probably in this... Well, we've got to stop there, but maybe I'll do another stop somewhere around the university. It kind of makes sense, right? So if I do one um, literally off the side of the university right here... No, I'll do it over the road. What size roads have they got to be, though? Are they the bigger roads? I think they are. Eek. Okay, uh, what's this one? That's a line tool. Okay. I've never used monorails before, guys, so bear with me on this. Okay, so we've got the university here. We've got a car park there. Um, We can put this, like, right... How can I do this in use the least amount of <laughs> buildings as possible. I mean, people are dead in these buildings anyway, right? So I'm going to go right there, right next to the university. We're going to want a stop. Um, I'm not too worried about the low residential areas, if I'm being perfectly honest, because there's not much there that I really care about. But I'm going to want to get people around uh, my built-up areas and over to the other built-up areas. So let's do another one of these at the top end over here. I think I've got some room there. There we go. There we go. Okay, so we'll do this. There we go. And then with the road. And we'll do... Not that one. That one. This one. And we'll have to just draw it in. I think I should have made these roads with monorails in, in mind. That's the issue that I've made here, obviously. So now I'm, I'm going to want one that's like uh, a station over a road. I wish I could just upgrade the station over the road one without having to actually do it. Maybe I should just do it off the road here. Maybe that's probably the option rather than deleting this main road. Uh, do it where it's going to destroy the least amount of buildings. I think either way it's going to destroy some buildings, right? So we'll do that and we'll just link that up then. All right. Now we've got a couple of lines set up that go um, clockwise and counterclockwise along our busiest sections of our city. So that's the, the main thing I wanted to do with that line. Now, I want to set up some buses that are going to connect um, our, our sort of commercial to residential to industrial zones. I could bring people from Hamilton Square down into the city centre. That would probably be a good idea. We'll do the stop there. Then we'll do one here, and then we'll do the next stop in the city next to... No, we'll just do the next stop right like there. Yeah, there we go. So from Hamilton, you can get to there, and we'll go back as well. So let's do the next stop will be that side of the road, that side of the road, and uh, complete the line. Yep, there we go. So there's line number one complete. Uh, the next line will go from the city centre... We're going to go over to the industrial area. So we're going to go from there. We're going to pick up some car, some uh, pedestrians, maybe right here. And then we're going to drop them off. Let's see. Let's drop them off like there. And then we'll go back. Oh, I don't like that route. But if I'm going to have that route, yeah, that'll do. Don't worry. <laughs> That's fine. Uh, next stop is going to be, let's come out of this one. We're going to go to... Let's do a stop by... Where's the university? That's the university there, isn't it? Yeah, we'll do a stop right outside the university. And we'll come over to this zone over here. We'll do a stop there. And we'll do a stop there. And maybe even come up to this zone. Yeah, I think that would work. Do a couple of stops. And then where was the stop on this one? Right there. So I want to do another stop. Oh, now this is one way, isn't it? So I can't do that. So I'll need to do a stop on this street probably there and i'm not sure that stop was in the best of places to be honest but we'll we'll go with it all right so let's see i've got a bus line that goes this way a bus line goes in that way a bus line going that way and then i'm probably going to want a bus line that connects my main city centers up uh, i'm actually i'm going to just do a stop that goes from uh, let's say here down into town and goes over to this monorail station and back I don't know if I should be stopping there, to be honest, but 
I mean, it's done now. <laughs> All right, we've got some bus lines. I'm not sure they're very meaningful, if I'm being perfectly honest. We've got some monorail lines. I think the most meaningful form of transport we can possibly do, though, is going to be the metro stations. Uh, so we're going to have... I'm going to do it so it joins up over here with, uh, with this station. There we go. So we're going to do a metro station there. We're going to do one over here. We'll do another one in this area. We'll do just a random one there. I want to do one that's sort of attached to this hub right here as well. So I've got from there, I can send, oh, I can send a, a rail out over this direction. I can send one down here. I'm thinking about doing lines. I'm going to do a line from there to there to there. And from there to here over to this area. And then from there maybe to here and to there. Oh, maybe I'll do another stop uh, somewhere in here as well. Right, now I've got to connect all of these. There we go. So if I go from there, I want this to go up to... Uh, let's see. I need to create, like... I need separate platforms here, don't I? I need, like, multiple. Metro station. How do I add more tracks? I don't know if I can. Maybe I've got to download some, some stuff for that. So I'm going to go to there. And then from there, just over to here. Will that arch around? It will, but I'm probably going to need to do it myself. So I'm going to do this tool. We'll go from there. We're going to come around here to there. There, there we go. And now I'm going to do another one that's going to go... I could... Yeah, I really want some more tracks. This seems a bit silly. They're all going to just meet up there and just not work very well, are they? Okay, so I'm thinking that should help people get around my city quite nicely. I don't know if I should have just done like a big loop like I did with the monorail. But, uh, I mean, it's done now. So, you know, we'll do a line that goes from that station to that station to that station. Maybe actually that line should just continue up. Maybe I should just do it so that it will limit the amount of lines, right? So that's probably a good thing. Okay, yeah, so we've got one line that goes up there, and then we'll have this line that sort of comes around here. We'll just do it on, on two different lines. All right, let's now cross our fingers that that works. I'm going to need to set up monorail lines because I realise I haven't actually drawn in... Oh, no, I have drawn in the lines for the monorails and for the buses. Okay, let's unpause the game. At the moment, we are in absolute gloom. It's taken me like an hour to do all of this. <laughs> the map is... Well, everybody is leaving. Everything looks terrible. Let's get the traffic flow up. We're at 23%. So we really need these lines to work for us uh, if we're going to do anything about anything, really. I just want to know now, is that going to work? Guys, I'll, I'll just be honest. I'm not sure that what I've done is going to work. <laughs> I think this traffic problem is too big for me. Anyway, Oh, wait, hang on. No, this has come way down. Oh, look at this. It must be working because traffic is, is doing way better. Hang on, let me, uh, let me just have a look. Traffic... Oh, 18%. Oh, that's disgusting. Where's it getting caught up to? Uh, everywhere. Okay, well, that's promising. But it's, it's off. <laughs> oh, my God. It's so bad, guys. It is off the highways. So that is actually, like, that's great. Because it means all of the traffic from the highways have been able to get into my city. And it's going up. It is definitely going up. But also, I am losing a lot of people, which kind of explains it as well. Where is the bottleneck here, guys? That's what I need to find. These guys are all trying to get... Oh, and those guys, they're trying to come down here. From there, they're trying to go down here. They're trying to join there. And then where are they going from there? They're going left. Oh, yeah, and they can't go left because of this traffic. Okay. And this traffic is all going... Left there. Where does that go? It's, it's just doing a loop. It's all just doing a loop. You've got to be kidding me. So this traffic here is going everywhere oh my gosh okay so it's going up there it's going into there it's going over there it's going into there we've got industrial traffic going absolutely everywhere i think i've built everything way too close together <laughs> i think that's where we're at i think i've just made some grave errors with the setup of this city oh but flow's going flow is i mean we are getting places guys Oh, I know why, though. It's because we've only got 35,000 people left. We've literally lost 15,000 people. We seem to be making actual positive progress from the start of the episode because we're now at 55% traffic flow. And um, all I had to do to do that, really, this... Um, when I added in the monorail up here, it messed up a bunch of the junctions that I'd set up 
that cleared this area of traffic and now as you can see this area is looking much better although we do still have some traffic coming through here we do have you know some some issues with roads being used as main roads that are not necessarily you know supposed to be used as main roads so that's a problem but with uh, with that exception we seem to be doing good. We're going in the right direction. People are now coming back to the city. It probably is going to be putting a strain on the motorway infrastructure once again. But everything looks to be flowing much smoother. So there are definitely positives to be had here. Uh, I'm a little bit concerned about this. I don't really like them. They're coming in here to avoid using this road. I'm not sure if I want that because there's... Uh, there's a give way sign right there and I'm just wondering maybe I should uh, maybe I should change this and just allow them to come out freely because there doesn't seem to be any other major traffic there so if I just change that to you have right away um, I might just take all of the restrictions off this altogether to be honest no we'll just go with that I think that will be fine um, there are then some some cars that are coming down here and using this then uh, which is, I mean, this is definitely the faster way to go. Definitely the faster way to go. So I don't know why they're doing that. I think some of them prefer the shortest route and some of them prefer the fastest route. Freeway is flowing, though, really freely. Doesn't seem to be any major problems there. Roundabouts are not backed up, so that's looking great. And yeah, highways are going well. Everything. I, I mean, I might be speaking too soon here because we're only at 37,000 citizens. But we're on 60%, guys, on hard mode. So that is, I mean, that's looking fantastic. What I'm going to just check on now is these mass transit, transit lines. Uh, so if I click on this one, I've got 643 per week using my bus routes. Uh, so which line is the best? The orange line seems to be doing pretty well. There are some of them that are doing terribly, like line six, that one there. Ugh. Okay, so let's have a look at this line. Are there any stations with more people on than we've got bus capacity? Yeah, there's a couple. Um, that does 30. Oh, look, there's like... Oh, let's do a double-decker. We'll put double-deckers on here, and that will give us a lot more capacity. Number of vehicles, 12. I feel like that might be too many, but we'll, we'll stick with it. So there's that route. Uh, let's have a look at this one as well. Uh, we've got a lot of people there. But to be honest, we've got a lot of buses here that are sitting relatively empty. Or are they all filling up at this station before they can get to that one? Oh, they are. Okay. So let's just keep an eye to see if, if this station is always over 30. I think we need some... I'm just going to do it. I'm just going to get the double, back of de the double deck of bus again. We'll put that on there. That should help that line out. Right. Now we've got... Uh, what's this one? This is our Metro... Yes, we've got lots of people using these. And yeah, it seems to be going pretty well, to be honest. So there's, so that one's fine. Uh, let's go to that one there. Yep, that one looks good as well. So these are working pretty well. Which one's for the, you know, the other one? What's it called? Uh, what's that one called? Is this it? Monorail. That's the one. So there's 10 stops. Line 1 has 418 passengers. Why doesn't Line 2 have any? Oh, it does. Oh, gosh. It has lots. Oh, we need to up this for like 12 vehicles. There's loads. It's just saying there's, yeah, basically, there's not zero. There's millions. <laughs> and on this line, uh, there's quite a lot on here as well. Not quite as many. I'm going to just up this as well to like, uh, let's up this to like six. No, maybe eight. That one seems to be okay, though. The other one, this one. It's saying there's only 16 passengers, but there's there are definitely more than 16 passengers using this line. Jeez, that's going to take a huge amount of pressure off our off our um, roads. This monorail was obviously the best decision I've ever had. Let's have a look at the amount of people used. Look at them all. Millions of them. Millions. <laughs> oh, I'm so pleased. It means that this is working. This little hub that I did here was obviously a very good idea. Can I get in there and see everyone using the bus routes as well? Look at them all. Oh, gosh, I love it. They're all like, yep, yeah, I will use the bus route. Let's have a look at the monorail stations. Oh, they're busy. They're busy. Busy-ish. Not as busy as the bus. Oh, I love that. Right. So if I go down to this one, is this one being used? Not so many here. That's okay, though. Understandable. 
bit of an odd, an odd stop. This one's busy, isn't it? Yeah, this one's packed. Let's have a look at our city's traffic flow. Oh, no, I was so happy. I was so happy two seconds ago, wasn't I? I was so proud of myself. I thought I'd made wholesale changes to this area and it really helped. And what's what's gone wrong now? Where's our issue now? It's this it's this roundabout. This roundabout is the issue. It's too many people again. 40,000 again and now the traffic has stopped. It's uh, it's definitely this area. There's people trying to get out of this area though. That's the issue. Oh no, and in. People are trying to get in over here. And where are these people going? They're going around here. Down there. Down here. And then they're going... What, this way? Oh, and they... Okay. That's the, the sort of sole way out now. I think this is a roundabout. This needs to be a roundabout. Let's get our roundabout tool. And how big do we want it? Is that going to be big enough? Yeah, that should be fine. We'll do that. Oh, no, it's broke our monorail. Pause. Pause. Pause the game. Monorail, where are you two? Can I just throw this out there? I really hate this monorail. I'm not going to use it again. Space occupied. By what? What's the space occupied by? Oh, uh, I don't know. There's no space occupied here, mate. It's just normal, everyday road. Okay, is that going to work? Are these stuck? Nope, they're going. Okay, we're good. Can we now upgrade this road, please? Please, please, please. Space ready. By what? There's nothing here. <laughs> Literally nothing there. There we go. Okay. I don't know what it was occupied by, but it was frustrating me. And we're going to use highway road for this. Okay, there's that done. And now we need to set that up properly. So if we get this one, click on... Oh, no, it's actually this. Click on adjust roads. Click on that. And then you can do roundabout roads. There we go. That's been set up properly. It has just... Oh, we've upgraded that road now. It's got rid of all the cars, which is kind of cheating, isn't it? Um, but I'm hoping this will help with the traffic flow. Fingers crossed. I don't like this now. This is terrible. Is this traffic lights? No, it's not. It's just there's no way that that is going to work. Let's change this up then. So we do that road there and we'll have it go there. And then I'm going to press pause a second and I'm going to delete this section and this section and they're going to come around here and they're going to use that like that. There we go. That will just give them a little bit more room to, to access this little section right here. Yeah, that should be okay. And actually it was a four lane road. It was one of these. There we go. That's okay. Uh, we'll see if that works. It probably won't. I wonder if I should actually set up a separate little way in for these guys. Or if I do something like this and then have something come up here and go to like there and do something like that maybe. Will that help? Will that help or make things worse? We'll see. <laughs> Uh, there's traffic lights there. I'm going to change out the traffic lights and put some of uh, the auto-timed traffic lights. All right, let's have a look. We've got 41,000 population right now. We've got a little bit of backing up on the highway, but not an obscene amount. Definitely some backing up on a couple of the roads. I don't even know why there were so many cars in this area anyway. All right, so a lot of the problems that I'm having here are there's a lot of cars that are coming down here and going into um, this general area. And it's kind of understandable because I didn't do very many stops for this area. Like there's no mass transit from this side over to here, unfortunately. Um, it actually looks like what's happening is... Oh, look, there's actually, there's literally a car. No, this shouldn't be happening. Hang on. There's a, there are cars coming in here. Coming up onto there and going all the way up here around this roundabout and then off that way. Why are they doing that? It means this section must not be set up correctly. Okay, well, I mean, it's only a couple of cars. Uh, another thing is there's a lot of industrial traffic coming down here, getting off there and coming over in this direction. 
and that's kind of to be expected because I didn't plan that out very well. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to add a little road for them to come off of this junction here and just enter right there. So we're literally just going to get a highway and I'm just going to do something quite like this. Like it's going to be that simple. And I'm just going to, what I'll do is I'll just remove this section of road. And then we'll go from that node there. There we go. Just like that. That's how easy that's going to be. And now that's going to allow cars to come down here and this off over there. So what I'm going to do then is I'm going to upgrade this road to a two-lane road. I do need... I'm going to need to use the move it tool a little bit. Just a little bit to pull this in. Just like that. Okay, and then... I'm going to continue to upgrade this road here. So that's going to stay as a two lane because one lane is then going to go turn right and then the other is going to go straight on. And that should take a lot of pressure off this junction here uh, and also just this area in general. It will add a lot more pressure onto this junction. So I'll need to keep an eye on that. But we can already see the traffic here is already dying down. So that's a good start. I need this roundabout to stop backing up. And uh, yeah, let's just let it play out again. Well, would you look at that? We are at 78% everybody. Uh, 76, okay, 77. <laughs> it's fluctuating a little bit. Uh, but we have definitely improved the traffic of the city. And not only that, we're at 77% plus we're at 47,000 citizens again, which is where we started the episode. But we were at 40% at the start of the episode. And now we are at 77%. And we're fluctuating a little bit. I'd like to get it up to 80. What's happening right now, though, is we're having a lot of traffic coming in through this uh, this. Um, hub here and it's all just it is actually just cleaned up so it's just got a little bit better and uh, this is causing us some issues right now and but I, I can imagine that this is going to get better as well um they fluctuate ultimately these uh, industrial areas and it will sort of get better and get worse and get better i've added like a ton of connections down here so now rather than there just be like two or three connections to get into this industrial area there's now connections all the way along this city I at first thought that disconnecting it would be the best thing. Turns out, not so much. So by adding in a ton more connections, I've given all of the traffic many more routes to choose. And it turns out that has worked out for the best. Uh, basically, adding in as many connections as I can seems to have been the way to have solved this problem. Uh, up until this point, it's been pretty terrible. <laughs> uh, but that does leave us in a very, very good place because all of our mass transit is being used now. We have um, really good flow along our motorways. They kind of slow down a little bit at some of the junctions, but there's no massive traffic jams backing up anywhere. I've done, if, I'm, if I do say so myself, a very good job. <laughs> and I will say that myself. Um, so yeah, I've added in just, yeah, lots more connections all around the city connection there connections over here and they've just worked i think going forward i'm not going to make everything quite as dense as i have here and note for the future i'm going to need to plan out my monorail my monorail stations and stuff in advance because i didn't realize how difficult it is to upgrade roads once you've already put them in place uh, so next episode i think we may be purchasing a new tile because i think we've done just about as much as we can in these tiles for now and I think the best place to purchase a tile may be over in this direction because we have more um, highway here that we can use up to get traffic in and out of our cities. Plus, we have a train, um, a train line coming in as well. But eventually, I do want to come down this way more also. So that's just about all I've got time for today. I hope you've really enjoyed this episode, guys. And uh, thank you all very much for watching. I'm Gwent Gamer. Goodbye. <laughs>